Hi, and welcome back to The Deck. I am the author stylist, Rebecca N. Bryan, but you can call me Beck. Today, we are at the Brookfield Conference Center at an event called Divine Consign. It is a huge thrift store. They have events um, all throughout Milwaukee area. I think they said the next one's in Waukesha. It's just a huge resale um, event that people bring stuff in to consign and then people like me come and buy their stuff. So, um, and it's a half off day today. So we came on a really awesome day. Um, today I am doing this episode based on a book, actually an audiobook exclusive to Audible called Seatmate by Cara Bastone. Seatmate is a romance about two individuals who meet on a city bus going from Boston to New York. I almost said Milwaukee for some reason. Boston to New York and they are very different people. Um, one is a um, photographer, blogger who travels the world and she meets this homebody man who hangs out with his mom a lot and they realize that they can in the end uh, learn a lot from each other and maybe they want to change their lifestyles based on each other. In part of the book, um, the, the woman accidentally sits on the man's tuna sandwich. So she has to change her clothes on the bus and one of the only things she has packed is a lady tux that she wore to a family event the night before. In that vein, we are going to go in there and see what we can find for lady suits or lady tuxes. Uh, a suit is on my wish list anyway, so we'll see if I get lucky today. I want a really classic, really nice suit. So let's see what we can find inside. I think I need witchy Georgie or Oma. This is a little too witchy for me, I think. <laughs> a little too, even I have a limit of witchiness. Let me choose. Definitely more Indiana Jones. Not quite what we're going for. I think I saw that one. That was an eight, so that's not gonna work. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's a look. That's a lot of look. 
This is a skirt suit, so it's not really what I'm going for, but I kind of like that there's a green stripe through it. Yep, this is a suit. It's by Sag Harbor, and it is the suit. Actually, the pants aren't bad, but it's probably the coat's maybe a size too big, and that is maybe that is abundantly obvious. But yes, this is not a suit I would necessarily buy, but it is a suit that maybe one would wear on a bus. Who knows? Suit number one. Okay, suit number one. Um, this is definitely, first of all, size too big. Second of all, too short. Maybe it's intending to be angle length, but yeah. So this is a no two. I, I have a good feeling about that jacket that Barbara found though, so we'll try that. Jacket's cool. I swear I must have narrow shoulders because the shoulders always go like way past what my where my actual shoulders are. Um, otherwise, I mean, if I was really invested, probably a tailor could pick something like that. I don't know anything about tailors, but I should get one. So yeah, this would be cute if it had pants with it, but it does not. But I think this, I'm feeling this one the most. I'm not going to get any of them because they're not my suit. So the search continues for that, but um, yeah, we'll recap what we what else we found, what other gems we found. I do too, I do like this the best. We will recap whatever other gems we found after we're done shopping. So that's it for seat mate. Okay, so I just checked out. Um, you saw the few suits I could find in my size that I could try on, mostly classic suits. There might have been more earlier in the week, but we found some, you know, nicest suits. I think the jacket at the end was the, was the real star. If we could find could have found pants to match that, that would have been the cutest for sure. I want to show you what I got though. So it was the second to last day of the sale. So like I said, it was a half off day, and they had some amazing deals. I bought a pair of Prada boots that are a little chewed up. It looks like a dog might have chewed them up, but um, I didn't notice that when I bought them, but they were $40 for Prada shoes. So I'm just gonna color them black and call it a day. And then um, I'm almost six feet tall, so this is a little ridiculous that I now own these, but hello, they're Jimmy Choo's for 40 bucks. Like, why would I pass that up? I would not. And then I got a lemon pouch because lemons. So anyway, yes, if you know something about an event like this, definitely do it. Um, there's events coming up in Waukesha and Milwaukee for this, for Divine Consign again. So um, I'll put a link to that down in the description. But yeah, I found some great things. I'll definitely probably go to the next one. And I don't know, we'll see what I can find there. Thank you so much for watching this episode of The Deck. Tune in next week to see whatever topic or book I decide to check out next. Bye.